Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today we got a 2022 Kona Electric. Uh, it's They said it's a demo car. So they asked me to check this because they said there's a electric vehicle warning on the cluster and the car won't move. So I'm going to start the vehicle. And we got that message there. So I did this yesterday and doing some checks, quick checks. And I just did the full system scan again here. We got the EVSE failure and an inverter capacitor precharge fault. So um, what I did next was I didn't know how this car came down. I don't know if they towed it in or maybe they drove it. And after that, when they planned to move it, they didn't move. So anyway... We, I'm concerned on this BMS P1B77 invent inverter capacitor precharge fault. So, um, what I did next was to check our datas and see. So, let's go to BMS first. So state of charge, 91%, <clears throat> BMS fault, yes, battery DC current, that's zero, which is we're not moving at all, so that's okay. Um, What else? MCU ready, VCU ready, we got in this inverter capacitor voltage at 4 volts. And last time I got also a code for an isolation uh, resistance. During the freeze frame, I got at least 1900 kilo ohms. This is a normal isolation resistance um, data, 3000 on these models. So, and I cleared those codes and the only code that came back is that P1B77. And this one, I went to another corner. It's a 2024 electric. Ignition on. This guy is reading at 1 volt. Right? And when you start it, there's a time it goes um, higher voltage. Like 396 or 400 volts. I think that's how... Or 369. I'm not sure the exact number when this... The voltage output on this one, on this EV. So I just went through and see what's what's not um, normal in here so I went and read the description of the code and everything it's pertaining to the relay the pre-charging uh, pre Recharge relay at the back or on the battery or, or the power relay. So what I did next was I'm, I went to the BMS actuation test and see if we if we can actuate those relays, right? Just checking which one is not working. So in our actuation test, we get this main relay minus, recharge relay on, main relay, recharge sim simultaneously, recharge relay on and so forth right so i did one by one so i'm just gonna and you can hear that clicking right this one and it clicks this guy doesn't do anything so that's the pre-charge relay on main relay so i think he's commanding two two relays at a time but that didn't work so we did a quick charger here relay that clicks that's the negative side the positive side that clicks this one simultaneously the charger relay both of them 
that clicks main relay pa positive that clicks and then this one is simultaneous quick charge relay main relay doesn't do anything next is main relay minus plus and pre-charge relay i'm gonna start that uh, it shows command fail this is the only part of the actuation test that it shows fail so i want read again on what's really going on on this guy in order to check this relay um we gotta drop the whole battery because it's, it's inside the power relay assembly it's inside the battery assembly so before doing all the stuff because we need to tow this car upstairs um i'm gonna go and disable the high voltage system remove the safety plug there at the back it's in the rear seat and we can check our fuse our main fuse right and see if we have that fuse first at least that's the very very basic check before we go deep in deep and diagnostics in this one because at least that one is accessible i'm just gonna do some quick checks if not uh this is really my first time to see but i have some codes with that on uh older sonatas um ionics or they're pretty common on those power relay assembly it's, they have a campaign for it that that relay melted on the slot itself so um so yeah so what i'm gonna do right now is uh, let let me show you first our now where's our fuse is let's check that i don't know which which page was that was it eight i think it was eight okay so here here's our main fuse here 500 volts 500 500 amp um our interlock system is there too so i'm gonna click this bb62 oops that's the wrong one mm. where's safety plug Safety plug should be in there. Unless the fuse is not in there. Oh my god. Um, what did I do in that one? How would I end up going in there? Um, let's uh, wait. Okay. I'm going to go to our DTCs. P1B77. this guy uh, let's go to component inspection here that's a pre-charge relay i think that's that's what i, I don't want that no um <clears throat> wait where did i see that i think it's in the shop that's in the shop oh my god um battery control system power really assembly so that's inside this is inside the whole battery the big battery down or underneath the vehicle okay so i don't need that i need the
main fuse a service plug let's see here where's this guy okay let's interlock service plug it's underneath the seat okay let's see what what testing that we need in this guy this is a visual inspection main fuse let's see where's this guy this i, I know it's inside the battery so as you can see there that's inside the battery this is our, where our safety plug goes in here's our fuse so i want to know if i can access on the safety plug area and instead of going inside the battery here because that's underneath right i can just probe our multimeter there and if you can get a reading so that's that's what i want to know because this one you have to remove the whole fuse i don't want to remove the whole battery yet um that's why i want to see where can i go um let me find that out first and then let's get back to it okay so i find the circuit diagram here this is our service plug so this is where underneath the seat when we do our safety shut off process on the EV, uh, on the high voltage side and as you can see there the main fuse that we're concerned that we want to check before <laughs> dropping the whole thing that's in line on one side of the safety plug so we can't really check anything right now <laughs> oh my god um so i think we have to i have to lift this up i'm in the parking lot right now i have to tell them to tow it upstairs and i guess i have before i'm gonna do anything yet still new with this type of issue um i'm gonna recall that i'm gonna open a case for it and see if they have some issue like this yeah. so there's something wrong on this guy i don't know when did it happen but i can't really test that right now because that's in line on one side of the terminal so even though if i'm gonna remove the safety plug i'm gonna probe here but i need to probe on the other side so that's connected to the battery module number four the other side of the terminal of the safety plug is a battery module number three we don't have issue with our interlock system right because usually if there's one they gonna get some codes there an open circuit or something like that i think or a specific code so yeah um, i will update you guys i thought i can you know do some quick checks here and just in the parking lot maybe find some something wrong but um no unfortunately i have to do this in the shop so yeah i will let you know guys so i remove our upper case for this battery um and on the earlier video i just remove all the bolts on the side 
So there's still bolts in the middle, 10 mm, and also on the safety plug. So you have to remove that, don't forget. So now we're gonna remove our high voltage battery here, this guy. And while removing and replacing a new one, we're gonna inspect just the connections and everything, right? So I also drain our coolant remaining in the system here using a pressure bleeding on this side here. So I know last time you guys were talking in the comment when I was doing an Akona um, replacement battery was that I didn't use this tool because we don't have that tool. I remember I think we sent it out just to double check if I remember if it's in the head office that because they have that tool. Right now we have the tool so we're gonna I use that and later I'm gonna show you uh, to test the air tightness so basically it's just checking the cooling system inside the battery make sure that there's no leak there and it's holding pressure right so for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the connections on this um, relay assembly we got 10 mm bolts on this uh, mounting and i don't know if i need to remove this it looks like i need to remove this guy just to access the bolt underneath here okay so let's start removing let me just double check this new one here if i need if there's any other components that i need to remove so all the connections here three connectors and this part here i think i have to remove this guy let me remove this guy oh come on oh that's tight Oh, wow. Wow, that's tight, man. <laughs> Why it's so tight? Okay, I guess I'll not remove that. There's 10 mm there under that orange, orange cover. 10 mm. And if you guys are very, very specific, there's some insulated tools, but it's very expensive. I don't have that tool yet. <laughs> so right now, I'm just going to use my hand tool with my safety gloves. Proper way is you have an insulated tool. Right? So let's remove our 10 mm here. It's connected to the battery. Minus. Magnet there. Another one here. Got our mounting nuts here. Let's tight. So I don't know what happened in this car. That's last time we have a pre-charge issue, pre-charge relay issue, and then after this car has been sitting for a while and now we have a high voltage relay issue so what's next we got some connectors here okay one so at least it's color coded here um it's two 
three. Okay, just leave that on the side. Another mounting nut here. And of course, before I did everything on this one, I did the shut off process, right? Just to make sure to neutralize the high voltage system. Now, oh, there's another one here. And now there's an Allen screw here on this side here, so we have to remove that. Okay, I got my Allen now. Um, in my tool it says 316. So let's remove that. There's two of them there. Okay, now we should be able to remove this guy. We just have to remove this guy here on the side, and this other one here. Come on. Why? Is it better for me to remove this? This part here? I think there's no space because of the coolant hoses. I think there's 8 mm there. Let me try one more. If I can lift this cable here. Come on. Okay. Oh no. This guy. There's another wire here, connector. And that's connected on this guy. Okay, that's out, that's good. So that female connector or male connector is attached to this power relay assembly. Okay, so something is stuck. I need to get this thing out. Come on. Come on. I need to lift it, the whole thing up. Oh my God. Why? What's what's blocking this guy here? Do I need to remove this? Oh man. No, but if I'm gonna remove this, do I have space? This power cable here or power connector. I can lift it up. I think it's because of the school and toes, you know. But oh, there's another connector there at the back. Okay. Doesn't come out. That doesn't come out. That's not good. I guess I have to remove this guy here. Is it the same size? I hope so. Okay, good. 
just gonna remove this whole thing here. Sit tight. Okay. okay, so I think this connector here it's blocking that guy. So I remove that. At least we have space. I hope so. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I'm still worried about this. cable here is this guy will come off okay 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 here here's our old relay There's a new one, we can't really inspect inside here. The only thing we can inspect on this side is make sure not these screws here, the screws here, or the nut, it's tight, nothing is loose. Okay, so, so far it looks good. Now we're gonna put this guy back on. sure you don't squeeze any wires there oh, the connector at the bottom come on okay, okay that flashes there I'm gonna put this connector here okay so now I'm just gonna put all the bolts and nut okay don't forget this cable here
Okay, so we're just gonna hand tight this 10 mm nut first. Oy. Okay, let's cover this. Cover that and then the rest of the mounting nuts. Okay, so all the nuts are good there. Um, next will be our where's my next will be this part here let's type this first Crazy tight here, so I'm just gonna use my short 3/8 ratchet and hand tight. And then next, next will be our screws there. Oops. Let's not screw it in. What? Is that going in? What happened? It's not lined up correctly. So the hole is not lining up correctly where this bolt threads. So I'm gonna loosen this guy again. And slightly pull it. Pull towards me. There you go. And that's good when it's smooth. Let me type this guy first. Okay, that's tight. Other one. Okay, that's tight. Now I'm just gonna tighten this connector here. This guy. Okay. So everything is good now there. So I'm just gonna plug our connections here. I'm not gonna be worried about that. This is just 
small wires there. Plug this in. Okay, this guy clicks, click, click. Okay, everything is connected here. I don't think I removed anything other than that. Make sure that's connected there. Okay, that's locked. And one more connection here at the back. Okay, so let's, let's cover this again. Okay, so I think that's it. Now we're gonna do the airtight test on this one. Make sure by moving this, especially when I move when I move this, um, make sure that my pressure is holding, and we should be able to install it back. So let me set up my the airtight tool and let's see okay so we got these adapters this is what you use to when you drain the remaining coolant on the battery so we got other one here and the other one here this is one that's from the airline pressure there uh, we have this and i just have a cover for it right so i'm gonna cover that <coughs> i'm gonna hook up our pressure tool here and as per the manual it should not e exceed um, exceed 0.2 megapascal right so let me lessen this first okay so now here's our gauge here I'm gonna crank this slowly. So right now, I'm in off position right now. I'm just gonna put it in 0.15 first. And then I'm gonna open this guy. Okay. So it says in 0.15 there. I'm going to put it at 0.2. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I'll just zoom in when I edit this video. I'm going to point, point 0.2. Oops. I think that's it. So that's the at least recommendation. And if it holds there, meaning that cooling system there is good, right? Which is good because we didn't any, touch anything in the battery side. And if it's drastic, meaning there's some issue there, right? So I'm going to release it. Okay. Remove this airline here. Remove this guy here. So I'm just taking out the residual pressure in the system. So that's it. So that's good. I'm just going to remove this. Okay. And that's it. So, um, I'm going to put everything back together, put our case there. And on my previous video on that Kona, um, I don't know if it was Kona or Ionic 5. Anyway, I'm going to torque them all the 10 mm bolts here and put it back and yeah and then let's get back inside the car after everything here and we'll see hey guys so um, i'm done with the job so far we don't have any warning lights and the car drives now um so after the installation that i did um put the battery back on the car I didn't do any calibration because we just replaced the relay in there. But the important thing there is to um, do a multiple um, water pump um, bleeding for the coolant, right? Because in this one, it took me at least four times to go to that function to bleed it um, correctly. Because the first time, I thought there's something wrong, uh, the blue, uh, the coolant, 
didn't even went down so I just let it run uh, with the water pump, water pump um, circulation function and then after four times it it's done so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video I know there was no there's no process for the whole thing on dropping the battery what I did and this and that but yeah so if you guys have that issue especially in this Kona uh, this EV vehicles the relays are inside the what do you call that the battery so there's no other way to check that so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that video and let me know what you guys think and thanks again for watching see you next time